Hello everyone and welcome to 10 facts about Siberian cats. Before I begin I have some good news. Thanks to you guys for getting me this far and for YouTube, releasing the early monetize requirements, I was able to get accepted into the YouTube partner program. So now what that means is now you can become a member of my channel and get access to emotes, perks, have a badge next to your name, and super thanks. So if you want to become a member then hit that join button. So now let's get into the facts. Number 10. Save the Hermitage Museum. In the middle of the city of Tumen, there is a plaza devoted to Siberian cats. It was created in commemoration of the siege of Leningrad during World War II. Russia's greatest museum, the Hermitage, had been swamped with rats that threatened to ruin important artifacts, and so inhabitants of neighboring Soviet areas decided to aid the city and set up collecting centers for cats. One of the biggest was in Tumen, and in all over 5,000 Siberian felines from Tumen, Omsk and Irkutsk were collected and taken by rail to Leningrad. All the rats were soon exterminated, and the descendants of these cats now reside in the hermitage and perform pest control. Number 9. Talk to people. Do you prefer to discuss your day with your cat? We do too. The Siberian cat not only listens to people, but they even actively meow in return utilizing varied intonations. Had a bad day at work? The cat will emit a sympathetic meow. Had a nice day. The cat will meow with a cheerful voice. It occasionally appears like a discussion, but scientists have not yet determined out what the cat truly thinks about people. Number 8. They always have a plan. One of the Siberian cat's key traits is its great intellect. Since this type formed amid hard environment conditions in Siberia, the capacity to think and plan was crucial to survive. Tomcats comprehend what people want from them and can even learn simple orders like fetch and figure out how to unlock doors with their paws or switch off the lights. The breed loves to avoid disputes and will, in most situations, hide instead of fight. Number 7. They like kids. Despite preserving tight personal boundaries, Siberian cats do comprehend familial relationships. Father cats take care of kittens as a mother does. They also enjoy human offspring and will defend them as their own. Social media is full with sweet videos of cats nursing newborns. And have you heard the tale of a Siberian tomcat called Masha? She spotted a newborn baby abandoned in a residential flat, protected him from the cold with her warmth and then called someone for aid. Number 6. Respect personal boundaries. These cats appreciate their independence even though they reside inside. You shouldn't expect them to sit on your lap all the time. They have a lot of things to do while you are at work to earn money for their meals and toys. Siberians are not hospitable towards strangers and will seldom allow an unfamiliar person to touch them. If you allow the cats to roam outdoors, don't be shocked if they occasionally bring you gifts because they are superb hunters. They can even capture little fish. Number 5. Weighs as much as two normal cats. Siberian cats require extra room for their big tails and paws. Adult female Siberians weigh approximately 5 or 6 kilograms while males grow up to 10 kilograms and occasionally even up to 12 kilograms. These are actual Russian bogaters. Number 4. Snow and frosts are not a problem. The Siberian cat is regarded the most frost-resistant domestic cat. This is all down to its fur, which is long, thick and resistant to dampness. The ears are also heat insulated and feature tassels. This fur coat protects the cat's powerful claws and big body from the cold and frost, enabling them to stay outdoors even at temperatures of minus 10 to 15 C. At the same time, the fur normally does not create issue at home, unless when they are shedding, of course. Number 3. Point coloration named after St. Petersburg. 
The Siberian cat has a color point subspecies that is magnificently dubbed the Neva Masquerade, the Neva being the major river in St. Petersburg, and the masquerade alludes to the breed's mask-like face coloration. This color point arose many centuries ago, and it was recognized as a breed variety at the same time as the Siberian cat. Since 1989, Neva masquerades have been bred at a cat nursery in St. Petersburg. Unlike the Siberian forest cat, the Neva masquerade has blue eyes, but its temperament is like that of an ordinary Siberian cat. Number 2. The First Russian Breed The Siberian cat was formally recognized as a breed only in the late 1980s in the Soviet Union. Then in 1992 it acquired worldwide recognition, becoming the first Russian breed recognized by international bodies. The breed distinguishes out as a huge hefty cat with fluffy hair and a rounded skull. The color varies and might include tabby, a solid color pattern and tortoise shell among others. The Siberian cat is identified by having a pair of fluffy pants and shirt front beneath the chest. Usually they have vivid green eyes. Professionals refer to this breed as the Siberian forest cat. Number 1. They have Asian roots. The Siberian cat has been present since at least the 17th century. Strictly speaking, in ancient times all cats that were transferred from Siberia to central Russia were termed Siberian. They were the most prevalent tomcats, appeared in all kinds of colors and had longer hair. The origins of these cats were Asian, Bucharian, cats, which were imported by merchants to Siberia to offer rat control for settlers. Over the following many millennia afterwards, the cats acclimated to the cold temperature and acquired their distinctive fur coat. They also expanded across the nation as it was thought that Siberian cats were the finest at hunting rodents. That's all 10 facts about Siberian cats. Check the description for more information and click that join button if you want to become a member. See you next time.